Welcome to our series of debunking myths of mental illness. Today is probably my favorite topic because it's ADHD. So today's myth that we are going to debunk is that all people with ADHD or ADD are hyperactive and bounce off the walls like the Tasmanian devil or a pinball in a pinball machine. I am Dr. Wendy Rice. I'm a licensed psychologist in Tampa, Florida. I run the Rice Psychology Group, which is just a whole bunch of wonderful psychologists who are here under one roof, actually two roofs, um, providing great high quality psychological services in the Tampa Bay community. So let's talk a little bit about ADHD. Before I begin, please know that this is um, definitely a favorite area of mine. It's an area of expertise because at about age 35, I finally figured out that I have ADHD which is why I was very forgetful as a child, which is why I still have a little bit of trouble spelling, a little bit of difficulty with time management, but it's been an incredibly empowering thing for me to understand that I'm not actually a moron. I'm not actually stupid. I just have a neurodevelopmental disorder that I can cope with, and it's really enabled me to help a lot of people. So let's talk a little bit about what ADHD is and what it isn't, okay? It's not a character deficit and it's not a lack of mm, having morals or wanting to be a pain in the neck. It is a neurodevelopmental problem which means typically it happens from birth and it um, stays with people as they grow up. It's pretty chronic um, and it's a problem with self-regulation. So the reason that some people are hyperactive and do bounce off the walls is because they have trouble managing their physical behavior, the motor part. And so they don't really have great breaks and they have all these impulses and they want to do things and they just have trouble stopping and thinking and deciding what to do because they don't have great regulation over their behavior. ADHD affects attention. People with ADHD can pay attention, they just can't always direct their attention. And so they can't direct it and they can't always control it consistently or effectively enough, which is why they can pay attention to what they love to do, but they can't always pay attention in class or in meetings or when they have to do homework. Um, um, managing emotions and passion is another place where self-regulation doesn't always work well if you have ADD or ADHD. And so I speak for myself, I have so many passions, even just within my professional world, I really want to become skilled at doing equine facilitated psychotherapy. I love having my dog in the office. I love doing psychoeducational and neuropsychological assessments. I'm very into doing therapy. I've discovered that participating in collaborative divorce is a fun thing to do. I have so many professional passions, partially because I have a creative brain and I have a little bit of ADD. So managing, uh, managing those passions and having being able to self-direct is something that comes up for people with ADHD. But I'm not hyperactive. I've never climbed on furniture. I don't run around inappropriately. In fact, I prefer to sit. So please know that people can have ADHD without acting out without being behavior problems. Sometimes it's an internal sense of restlessness and, in, and, and thoughts going really fast all the time and just having trouble managing on an internal um, level. And oftentimes it's hard because there's a lot of girls who have this problem and they don't get diagnosed because it doesn't, it's not easy to see on the outside. So again, the myth we're debunking today is that all people with ADHD uh, are hyperactive and act like the Tasmanian devil, so not true. If your loved one needs some help with ADHD, you can find us on social media at Rice Psychology, and you can find us on the web at Rice Psychology as well. So thanks for being with us today. Have a good day. Bye-bye.